I just want to come back to the valuation. So just on some very quick back of the envelope calculations, right? The Nuvo share was trading today at somewhere about 1,560 bucks. The Grassim share about 4,539. So if you have 10 Nuvo shares for three Grassim shares, it roughly works out to about 15,620 rupees worth of Nuvo shares for about 14,000 rupees worth of Grassim shares. And then again, we did some back of the envelope calculation to see what the seven additional shares of Aditya Birla Financial Services will be worth. And the amount is something like 2,000 rupees. So you're getting 15,620 rupees of Nuvo shares. In return, you're getting about 16,000, you know, uh, rupees of both Grassim So I don't know where the numbers are from. I'm just using basic share price because that's the only thing we have right now. So for example, I wouldn't know how you've valued the financial services, Holco, for example. But that sounds like it's a pretty even-handed transaction. I was going to say the same. <laughs> so, but I do want to know, you know, could the Grassim shareholder look at this and say, hey, look, I had a debt free company, really, at the end of the day, right? Uh, I had a debt free company, I had a cash positive company, in fact. And now I'm going to become part of, yes, a bigger, better company that gives me exposure to telecom and financial services. But both those businesses uh, bring inherent risk with them, especially telecom, where you've said that the next two years is going to be difficult. So when you look at it from the Grassim shareholder point of view, do you think that he or she has reason to? I don't think so, because this be new company this? will own about 25 percent in ideas. So it's not really responsible for uh, either paying off the debts of idea or to fuel its growth. Uh, it is at best a holding company for telecom, so to Correct. speak. Uh, the case is different in the financial so services. I'm not talking about idea debt, but I'm saying you know whatever a holding company earns from let's say dividend payouts, etc. If those get stretched because of new capital plans, spectrum acquisitions, you know a market that's very hi- that's hyper competitive in the months to come. Uh, I'm just curious to know whether the Grassim shareholder ought to feel. So I think that I that is uh, and I'm now that's just sort of wheel. chasing ghosts because. There is no real plan to do that. Like I was telling you, this really isn't about idea. It's about uh, bringing together an interesting set of businesses that can fuel the growth of some of our core businesses. Uh, And I think idea has proven in the past that it has access to funds uh, pretty much by itself, whether it's a QIP or a strategic investor or financial investors. I don't think that they need to bank on the new code to, to do that for them. But the financial services business will bank on the new core, which is that Grassim is true, and, and That is something merged. that uh, we've said very upfrontly. Yeah, and the Grassim also shareholder the might feel that, that I don't want to have to be part of this in any fashion. So I'm just trying to look at it from different I think shareholder it's points of view. You right? know, this, the, the transaction has just been announced, and I think it's important for investors to actually uh, sit down okay. and understand it clearly, holistically, and then take a view. And uh, obviously, we, inve- we, we respect the views of our investors. Okay. Can you talk us through what your outlook for Grassim and Nuvo, the combined business, will be? Because you will now have a variety of <laughs> operating businesses under it as well as holdings, right? So, I mean, just roughly if I was to list it, you'll be in Cement through Ultratech, which is a holding. You'll be in Idea, which is Telecom, again through a holding. You'll be in Financial Services, again through a holding structure. And then the operating businesses will be VSF, Chemicals, Solar Power, Textiles. And I think AB Fashion will be a very, very small holding, I think roughly about 11% or so. So that's what Grassim Nuvo, the combined entity, will so be So a about. very long uh, winded uh, answer to that, but uh, suffice to say that all of these businesses practically without exception are market leaders uh, in their own spaces. And that's very unusual for a conglomerate with so many businesses to have every business which is a dominant player uh, in its own, own industry. And I just like to say that this transaction is actually EPS accredited for Grassim uh, right from day one. So I think that that uh, has a story to say by itself. Okay. You don't feel that many of these businesses are currently going through difficult patches of growth and therefore the true value of this combined entity might not be visible for many, many months to come or a couple of years at least. So I think that really is about it, about the performance of the businesses and how well we can communicate the story to our investors. Like I said, this is something that's just been announced. And I think it will take a little while for investors to completely comprehend uh, the construct of this transaction. Okay, so if I was to reiterate what you said, the benefits of this are that the financial services business gets a very strong parent in the combined entity of Grassim Nuvo, and that the Grassim Nuvo shareholder, you know, gets exposure to a wider variety of businesses. You also have to remember, Menka, that both companies today are in similar businesses for a part of them. So you have viscous staple fiber in Grassim, you have viscous filament yarn in Nuvo. Correct. Those come together. 
you have caustic soda and both companies those come together hmm. there is a certain amount of cross holding that has always existed hmm. so for example both companies have uh, a shareholding in abfrl they both have a shareholding in idea Correct. in hindalco those come together so there are all of the uh, positive impacts of those as well that will start to pay so out. have you been able to sort of get a sense of what when you combine these two businesses how you will be able to extract synergies from this what those synergies may be worth um also a quick question on who the management will be of this combined business so synergies uh, really we haven't been able to put a number to it because it's a little difficult to do that management is something that we have enough time to uh, think about but i think that more or less uh, the companies will remain to be managed uh, obviously independently but also by the same people who are managing them today okay but who will be the ceo of the combined grass so we got yet take a call on that in very early days okay uh, just just you know a couple of more questions on uh, just from the the businesses and this restructuring part of you a few years ago you restructured your cement business last year you restructured some of the fashion retail businesses now you've done this with grassim novo do you see any more restructuring required at the group level no well not as of now having said that you know um, uh, a statement like this has a shelf life but there's nothing that, that uh, i can think of as of now i think that we've done a bulk of what needed to be done Okay. Um and one feels a great sense of satisfaction about that. Any cross holdings that you want to uncross at this point in time? Any Not really. So you still have various group companies owning a little bit of Hindalco here, a little bit of something else there. So like I've said in the past there is there has been no cross holdings that has happened in the last 20 years. Yeah. So Sorry, whatever is there uh, has existed for a very very long time. Uh huge implications in terms of tax and you So you know, don't intend to get uh, rid of that. Other issues of the kind uh if one was to try and um, you know undo that and it's just not worth the effort so at this point in time for the next 2 years at least there is no other restructuring that I'm we can I'm pretty sure there isn't the because I can't think of something I think that that there's a lot that's been done already and uh, a lot of positive impact is uh, you know starting to show through whether it's cement whether it's uh, fashion retail and I guess uh, that's what will happen with this transaction as well